The frequency plugin is an 8 band parametric EQ or equalizer. Now, there's a lot of equalizers that come inside the large plugin bundle that's included with Cubase, and frequency would probably be considered the flagship of all of the EQs. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of frequency and show you some of its standout features. The very first standout feature is the visual representation of exactly everything that's going on in the frequency spectrum. You only need to just hover your mouse or pick up on a point to not only see where the frequency is in that little representation up on the top right hand corner, but also to see the actual note on the piano scroll down the bottom. So if we want to EQ a note in or out, we can just hover our mouse around, find the right note and start adjusting the frequency. Bands two to seven allow you to switch in between a low and high shelf and a notch and a peak. Bands one and eight have a number of different cut options so that we can really get in and filter out the low and the high end in our frequency spectrum. You can easily adjust the volume and the frequency of different bands up in the main window. And you can also turn multiple bands on and off and work with as many as you want. You've got a choice of up to eight. You can configure the way the spectrum information is represented up in the spectrum display settings box. So I'm changing the display over into a bar graph and then back again. It really depends on how you want to view the information before you EQ it and of course after you've applied the EQ settings. Frequency is a linear phase EQ and if you turn on linear phase, it can analyze the audio and ensure that all the frequencies pass through at the same time and that removes any phasing issues that normal EQs usually have. It doesn't mean that you can hear it, but they are there. I mentioned before that we can see the frequency spectrum represented down here on the piano scroll, which by the way you can turn on and off if you need to. One quite amazing feature is the ability to type in a note and for that band to go straight to where that note is up on the frequency spectrum. So you're not fishing around or looking for a particular frequency, you just type in the note and straight away you're in the region and you're working with that frequency. Each individual band in frequency can be set into a couple of different modes. We can EQ in stereo, which is left and right, or mid and side. So mid is the center and the side is the left and right. So we can specify one EQ setting for what we're listening to directly in front of us and another EQ setting for what's around that. So it's really helpful for things like going in and applying surgical changes to maybe some errors over masters, but also to get a greater width in your track with things like, say, walls of electric guitars. In terms of surgical precision, we can actually audition frequencies just by clicking on the audition button. Now, as I move the band around, the frequency that's selected is soloed. So you can really get in and figure out what it is you want to add or subtract from the mix and you can very quickly get a feel for what needs changing and what needs to be left alone. As with all plugins in Cubase, frequency comes packed full of high-end engineered presets. So there's always a pointer to get you on your way, regardless of what type of track you've recorded and need to EQ. Thanks for taking the time to stop by. If you've liked this video, please give us the thumbs up and subscribe to the Cubase channel. And of course, leave us comments to tell us how you're using frequency. I'm going to catch you in another video.